Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Somish at this side and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we will be discussing about my interview experience for media.net direct diary for the position of SDE2 and how I cracked their interview. I have seen that there is not many interview experiences for media.net or direct diary, let alone for a lateral hire. So this video will be useful for both experienced professionals as well as college freshers who dream of getting a job in direct eye or media.net. So I would urge you guys that before starting, do like this video and share it as much as possible so that it reaches as many number of people as possible. And if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed already, then please do subscribe to it. I will be posting many such similar content in the near future. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, I would start with how I got a chance to interview in media.net. So I was contacted by a recruiter from interview bit for a position of SDE2 in media.net for the Mumbai office. For those of you guys who do not know what interview bit is, it is a similar website for interview preparations like uh, lead code is. Uh, apart from highly structured uh, content uh, that it has, interview bit also aids in recruiting of many well-known firms. Some of them are DE Shaw, Media.net, Amazon, and so on and so forth. And why I was contacted? I was contacted primarily of two reasons. One, I had already uploaded my resume in interview bit uh, so that they can refer me or suggest me to companies for my recruitment. And uh, the second thing is I had a pretty decent score in interview bit. And uh, because of that, probably I was contacted. The recruiter from interview bit then introduced me to the recruiter from media.net. And from then on, both the recruiters handled my packet in media.net. Probably because of my score in the interview with platform and because I'm a lateral hire opting for a position of SDE2, I did not have to go through an online assessment in this case. So there was no online assessment for me. I was directly invited for the on-site interviews. As usual in this pandemic times, the interviews were completely virtual in nature. Please write down the guess for the number of rounds that I had to go through to get an offer from media.net for the position of SDE2. Just pause this video for a second and quickly write down your guesses in the comment section. For those who have written the guess, I will now reveal the answer. I had to go through nine rounds. Yes, you heard that correctly. I had to go through nine face-to-face -face rounds to get an SD2 offer from media.net. The entire duration of all those nine rounds spread across a couple of months. Here, I will give you detail about what all those nine rounds were, what kind of questions I was asked in those nine rounds, what were the expectations from me for those nine rounds. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. And before I started, I would like to say, if you want to be a part of my mock interview series, then please go down to my Instagram handle. I have given it in the description below. Follow me and send me a message telling me that I want to be a part of the mock interview series. I will definitely take you in and take your mock interview and provide a feedback. I have already published four such videos in my channel. You can go through them to understand what is the expectation out of an interviewee? What are the expectations of an interviewer? And probably listen to some of the feedbacks that I have for those candidates. It will surely help you guys. Now, enough with the mock interview stuff. I will just direct jump into my interview rounds. So I will go one by one with all the interview rounds that I had to face. What were the expectations out of me in each of those rounds? What were the kind of questions that I was asked? And uh, yeah, in general, the entire interview process. So let me start from round number one. So the first round was a problem solving and a data structures round. Here, I was given a strict memory constraint. Because of that, I had to use bit manipulation to solve the given problem in hand at the particular memory constraint that I was given. It was a lead code medium kind of a problem. The second round was also a problem solving round. I was given a lead code DP medium kind of a problem. In both the rounds, the expectation out of me was to write a production level code covering all the edge cases and no bugs at all. Post which I had to dry run the solution against interviewer inputs. After these two rounds, the next round that was scheduled after a few days was the low level design round. This was not your typical low level design round. 
it was a bit different. The entire length of this round was around one and a half hour to two hours in time. Your, the expectation out of me was to code the complete low-level design solution in such a manner that it satisfies all the given functional requirements for the system and the code should be completely compilable and testable. And then after writing the entire code, I had to actually run the code against several test cases that the interviewer gave me. So it was a bit different than your general LLD round. In this round, I had to write the code for a meeting scheduler. I had to consider all the edge cases that are present and that can happen. I had to consider all the boundary conditions and come up with a detailed low level design and a complete working solution with detailed algorithms of each and every function. I had to actually implement all the algorithms that are present there and then run the entire system end to end. After this round, the fourth round was a hiring manager round, which was a behavioral come a system design round, wherein I was asked to come up with a solution to design a distributed hit counter. This round, although it was a system design high level round, the expectation out of it was that I come up with all the components of the system as well as discuss around the different approaches that I can take to actually implement and arrive at the solution to solve the functional requirements. The fifth round was again a system design round. In this round, I was asked to design a service like Yelp. This round was a proper high level round where it started with me and the interviewer discussing about the functional and non-functional requirements, coming up with back of the hand calculations and estimations for scale and the amount of data that we will be consuming based on that scale, and then coming up with a detailed approach and the components and the corresponding algorithms to solve the problem at hand. After the completion of the fifth round, I was asked to submit a written report for the system that I designed. I submitted the written report. After that, sixth round was scheduled. That round was also a system design round. Yes, you heard that right. I went through two problem solving rounds, one low level design round, two high level design round, and one a mixture of low level and high level design round. In this round, the expectation out of me was to complete the functional requirements that were present in the form of concrete code and class diagrams, along with an explanation of how we can scale the system using different components. After the completion of my sixth round, the seventh round was scheduled. This round was a computer fundamentals round. You might be familiar with the interview process. Here I was here I was tested on my breadth of knowledge of computer fundamentals. I was asked everything and anything that is present under the computer science fundamentals, starting from operating systems, databases, computer networks, different protocols, how indexes are created, why we use B plus trees over B trees, and many such similar kind of questions. Apart from that, I was also made to write several SQL queries to actually understand my hands-on knowledge on writing SQL queries. It was more of a theoretical round where I was tested on my computer fundamentals theoretical knowledge. After the completion of seven rounds, one round was scheduled with the managing director of Media Lovnet. Since I was interviewing for the team that was directly managed by the managing director of Media Lovnet, this round was scheduled. This was more of a behavioral kind of a round where, where the expectation out of this round was for me to actually understand about the role which is present and for the interviewer, that is the managing director, to actually understand and know the candidate better. So it was, a, it was more of an informal chat than a formal interview round. We had discussions about my interests, my projects that I did. We had detailed discussions around those, as well as detailed discussions around the team for which I was interviewing and the projects that they have undertaken. After that, the ninth round was scheduled with the CTO. This was also more of a technical discussion rather than an interview. Third, the CTO actually introduced me with what all technologies they work in their particular team, what are the exciting projects that they were undertaking, and then also tested my knowledge on database design, where he gave me some problem around designing databases based on the requirements that were given and tested how well I was able to design the tables present there. 
after the completion of the ninth round, I was finally extended an offer for the position of Software Development Engineer 2 at Media.net Direct I. It was a very long process and it took around two months for the entire process to complete. And I had to go through around nine uh, interviews and I had to submit one uh, write up as part of the interview process to Media.net. It was an exciting process to say the least. It was an extremely good experience interviewing with them and cracking their interview. I really, really hope that you guys liked my interview experience. If you have any question whatsoever regarding interview experience of any company that you want answered, please comment down below. I will make sure that I answer your questions. I will be uploading more such interview experiences. I will be uploading more low-level design questions. I will be uploading more similar kind of videos in the near future. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. Please do like and share this video as much as possible. I sincerely hope that I am able to make a difference in you guys. And when I do receive such mess messages in LinkedIn and Instagram, it really feels extremely great as a content creator. Thank you for watching the video till the end. You guys have a nice day. This is Tom Ejit, very goodbye. That's with